Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this flag animation using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that I have here is I've got a new document in Illustrator and I've got my flag here ready to go but I'm just going to show you how I created it. I've got the colors here and I'm using the Dutch flag so all you need to do is just go to the internet and search for the hex values. I've also got a grayish color, the color that's going to be used for my pole and another one for opacity. So the first thing that we need to do to create this flag is I'm just going to click on my rectangle tool. I'm just going to click once. Now I've already um, uh, sorted out the measurements so you can just follow along. I'm going to be using 950 by 166 pixels. I'm just going to press OK. Once I've got that, all I need to do is just duplicate that three other times. So once you're happy with that, make sure that they are directly on top of each other. Now all you need to do is just come over here and change the colors. So in the Dutch flag, it's the red on the top and then the blue at the bottom with the white in the middle. So that's pretty cool. So now I can come over here to my layers and uh, make sure all of that is in one layer. And then I'm going to come over here and create the flag pole. So to create the flag pole, all I'm going to do is grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a very thin rectangle. I'm just going to change that color to that gray. And then for the top, I'm just going to grab an ellipse and I'm just going to make sure that it's in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab another ellipse and just draw another smaller circle. And then I'm going to put it on this side and I'm going to get rid of the stroke. And I'm just going to change the color to this color over here. So make sure that I get rid of the stroke and then I'm just going to come to my properties and make sure that I change the opacity down to let's say 13%. So now I've got my flag pole and I've got my flag. So the final thing that I need to do here in Illustrator is just to make sure that the flag pole is on its own layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, grab all my flag pole stuff and drag it to another layer and I might as well just rename them now so I'm just gonna call this one pole and then these colors we don't really need so we can uh, delete them if you want so anyways save that as a illustrator file and I'll see you guys in After Effects now we're in After Effects so all we have to do is just import our project so once you've imported your project you want to import it as a composition and then you just want to press OK so now I'm going to double click and get into my Dutch flag. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I move the flag closer to the actual pole. And if you did have strokes on the flag, please make sure that you change that in uh, Illustrator. And then what we need to do to animate the actual flag, we need to use this effect called wave warp. So making sure that you're on the flag layer, come over here to wave warp. And then you start to play around with some of these settings. You can see already what's kind of happening here. So the first setting that I want to change is I want to change the wave width to something like 150. And I'm going to change the direction to let's say 45 degrees. And the pinning I'm just going to put to the left edge. And so now when I preview that you can see already we've got that nice uh, ripple kind of wavy effect. But we can also duplicate that wave warp uh, effect as well and just increase things like let's say we're going to bring up the height to about 100 uh, to 12 and we'll bring up the width to about let's say 160 and now when we preview that now it's got like a, a little bit more of a ripple kind of effect but anyways uh, th that's about it that's a quick tutorial on how to get a animated flag waving in Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.